Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a website for your cosmetic business using Shopify. I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to create a beginner-friendly website with the essential sections that you'll need to display your products. And I'll be giving you some tips for how you can create a more advanced style website and also how you can customize your navigation links. The website I'll be showing you how to make is perfect for if you have a makeup or cosmetic business. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. To get started, you'll want to open your Shopify store. Then you're going to click online store, then themes. You want to go in and open your currently published theme. You also have the option to go in and install one of Shopify's free themes. I'm going to start off by showing you how to lay out the homepage of your website. Then I'll be showing you how to customize it and add your media and your pictures. When you click the full screen icon, it's going to show you how the website looks in a full screen display. And when you click the mobile icon, it's going to show you how the mobile version will appear. When you click on this header, this is where you'll be able to edit and customize your header display. Under desktop logo position, you can reposition your logo and your menu. You can choose to apply a sticky header animation. This way when customers are scrolling through your website, the header is going to remain on the website. I'm going to click theme settings, and when you click logo, this is where you can upload your brand's logo and your favicon image. And you'll be able to increase or decrease the size of your logo. When you click colors, you'll be able to edit the color scheme of your website. I'll be setting the background to a pastel pink color. Then I'll be setting the text color to a dark pink wineish color. I'll also apply that color to the solid button background and the outline button. Then when you click on a section, you'll be able to apply one of those color schemes. Currently there is an image banner section. Right below this, I'm gonna click add section to template and I'll be adding an image with text. This is gonna be one of the first impressions of the website, so I'll be choosing to remove this image banner. Right below this section, I'll be inserting a collection list. You want to add a collection list to your website to display each of your product categories. Under heading size, you'll be able to edit the size of this heading text. And you can also increase or decrease the number of columns you would like to show. This will represent the number of collections that you would like to show. For an example, I'll be featuring two main product collections. And you can choose to enable the view all button for if your store has more than just these two collections. Then when you click on the footer bar, this is where you'll be able to go in and customize your footer menu. Later I'll be showing you how you can customize your footer menu as well as your main menu. And that's a beginner friendly way that you can lay out your website to include some essential sections that you'll need to display your products and introduce your brand. Here's an example of a more advanced version of this website that I designed. For an example of how you can create a more advanced style website, you can include a moving slideshow at the very top of your website. You can also choose to feature an about us section to introduce your brand. And feel free to play around with the different sections that you add to Shopify. You can add a featured reviews section. And you can even include a social media banner to promote one of your brand's social media pages. By the way, if you are interested in this website I'm showing, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're going to receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses. And I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There is a step-by-step -step installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. I will link this Shopify theme template in the description box below, along with where you can go shop my other Shopify themes. Now to begin customizing this website, I'm going to start off by clicking on the image with text. And here's where you can upload one of your brand pictures. Under image height is where you can adjust the display of the image. And you can also adjust the width of the main image. You can choose to place the image on the left or the right. And you can also reposition the desktop content. When you click on the heading, this is where you can insert your title. Then you can also write a mini sales text. Then you can title the button label and select a link leading to a page within your website. I'm gonna link this to the all collections page. For each of these texts, you'll be able to edit the sizing. And you can also choose to put the text in bold, italic, and you'll be able to insert a link so you can link this text to lead to another page within your store, or you can paste in a link for an external website. For the smaller text box as well, you have a few different editing options. And here's how the mobile version of this section is going to appear. Next, I'll be showing you how you can customize your collection list. Here on Shopify, I'm first going to show you how you can add a product to your store. Then I'll be showing you how you can create a product collection and how you can add those products to that collection. So when you click products, you're going to click add product. And this is going to be the page where you can add all your information for your product. Here you can type in your product title, then you can insert your description, 
you'll have a few different options for the description. You'll be able to increase the size of text. You can put specific text in bold, and you can also add bullet and number lists. You'll have the option to insert images and videos throughout your product description. And then here under media is where you can upload your pictures and videos of your product. For an example, I'll just be uploading one image. And here under category is where you can select the category of your product. Then you can type in your price and you can also insert your cost per item, which will help to calculate your profit and margin. You want to type in the stock inventory, then the product weight. And if your product has different variants like sizes or colors, here under variants is where you can list those styles or those colors. And here you'll be able to type in how much stock you have available for each variant. And that's an example of how you can add variants. I won't be adding variants for this product. You want to make sure that the status of your product is set to active. This way it will appear in your online store. If this is just a test product, you can set it to draft. And here you can type in the product type. You can list your product vendor or list yourself as a vendor. And you can insert your tags for your product, which will help customers to find this product when they are searching for it in your search bar. Here, when you click preview, this is where you can take a look at the display of your product. Then here under products, you're gonna click collections then click Create Collection. Here you can title your collection, and I've set the collection type to Manual, which means that when you click Browse, you'll be able to manually select which products you would like to add to this collection. You can also add products to that collection by opening the product directly. And here where it says Collections, you'll be able to select which collection or multiple collections that you would like to add this product to. There's another way that you can add products to a collection, so here, when you go to create a new collection, if you set the collection type to automated, you can adjust the settings of this collection to automatically add specific products. So I've set it to product title contains highlighter. And this way, whenever I add a new product to this store and the word highlighter is in the title, it will automatically add to this product collection. Next, you're gonna go ahead and open your website. Then when you go to click on the collection list and you click on one of these collections, this is where you can select each collection that you would like to feature. And here is the display of this collection list. When it opens up that product collection page, there are some sorting and filtering options. And here when you click on this product grid, you have a few different editing options for this section. You can choose to display or hide away those sorting options. And you can choose to display a couple more product details. When you click on this collection list, under image ratio is where you can edit the display of the pictures. And also when you take a look at this section on mobile, it's gonna display each of the collections one by one. Here under mobile layout, you can choose to display two columns at a time on mobile. And you can also enable the swipe on mobile. Next, I'll be showing you some ways that you can customize the main menu of your website. Here on Shopify, I'm gonna click navigation. Then you can choose to open your main menu or you can create a new menu. When you click add menu item, this is where you can begin selecting which page links you would like to add to your menu. I'll be adding a link to the homepage of the website. And next, you can choose to feature specific collections within your store. You can also add a link to your All Collections page. So here, I'll be adding a link to the All Collections page. Then when you go to click Collections, you can choose to feature each one of your collections and you can also create a dropdown. When you click this little icon, you'll be able to reposition these menu links. And also when you drag one of these below, one of the menu links, and position it off to the right, you'll be able to feature it as a sublink dropdown. This way when customers are looking at your menu, when they click on one of these links, it's gonna show the dropdown. I'm gonna click add menu item. You can add a link to your search bar, and you can also choose to add a link to a specific product. You can add links to different pages within your store, and you can also add a link to your blog page or to a specific blog post. Then you can add links to your policy pages. And I'll also be adding a link to the contact page. Next, you're gonna go ahead and open up your website and you're gonna click on the header. Here under menu, I'm gonna be changing this main menu and I'm gonna select to apply that new menu that I just created. And this is gonna be the display of the menu. And for your mobile version, when the customers click the three lines, it's gonna show your menu dropdown. And that is a way that you can customize your main menu of your website. 
Then next, I'll be showing you how you can customize your footer bar menu. We're basically going to be taking the same steps as we did with the main menu, except I'll be showing you how you can display the footer menu and how you can add your logo. Here on Shopify, I'm going to click navigation. And here you can open your footer menu or you can create a new footer menu. Again, I'll be adding a link to the homepage, but I'm also going to be adding a link to the search bar. I'll be adding a link to that all collections page. Here I'm choosing to feature a specific product. And then I'll be adding a blog page link. I'm going to end the footer menu with a link to the contact page. Next, you're going to save this menu. And here, when you scroll down to the footer menu, I'm going to click this arrow. And here, you're going to be able to click add block. And this is where I'm going to add a link to the menu. When you click on this menu, you'll be able to assign which menu you're going to feature. So here, I'm featuring that new footer menu. Here, I'm going to click this icon and I'm going to insert a text block. Here you can choose to type in a little mini brand description and you can also type in a heading. So you can choose to type in the name of your brand. So I'll be clicking add a block again and this is how you can add your logo to the footer menu. I'm just going to click image and here when you click select image, you can upload your logo. Then under image width, you can increase the size of the display of your logo. When you click this icon, you can choose to reposition where these sections appear on your footer bar. And that's a way that you can customize your footer bar menu. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're going to receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the section and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. And if in general you're not too familiar with Shopify, I do have a Shopify basics guide. This is a guide I've put together that includes a lot of info for if you're a beginner with Shopify. The guide covers things like how to read your analytics page, how to set up your shipping policies, and more. In this guide, I've included screenshots and written text explainers to help you understand each section of the guide. I will link that in my description box below as well. Thank you all so much for watching.